Guyana's outdated copyright laws offer little to none protection to persons in the arts and entertainment sector, and as such, a renowned army pilot, photographer, and producer, Mike Charles, is calling on the authorities to have the laws updated. Charles on Thursday launched his fourth documentary film on Guyana's rich biodiversity. Because of the outdated copyright laws, the 25 million documentary entitled Songs and Colors of the Rainforest will see poor returns on the intellectual property. According to Charles, it is pertinent that the government address this issue so producers and artists can have better financial benefits from their work. It takes a great deal of financial investment and personal sacrifice to produce these videos. But sadly, the returns on the intellectual property has been negligible. Guyana needs updated copyright legislation to be enacted without delay. Songs and Colors of the Rainforest is my fourth video production. These videos continue to astound Guyanese and visitors alike. They awaken a sense of pride in us all. The launch, which was held at the Arthur Chong Conference Center, Greater Georgetown, was attended by Prime Minister Brigadier Mark Phillips, other government ministers and members of the diplomatic corps. Meanwhile, Charles, who is a helicopter pilot for over 37 years, said the profession allows him to experience firsthand the beauty of Guyana, and because of its sheer magnificence, he felt it best to share the experience with the world. So Charles began producing videos and also got involved in photography. The film features the most unique and rare species found in Guyana's deep rainforests and savannas. Here are a few clips. Spoonbill. The rosate spoonbill is a glorious bird found in the swamplands of the North Atlantic coastline. The greater flamingos are by far the brightest and one of the largest of all flamingos. Emerald tree boas are non-venomous tree-dwelling snakes. These superb climbers use their prehensile tail and body to coil tightly onto trees for ascent. Kaitor Falls is the world's largest single drop waterfall by volume. The rooster tailed cicada is beautiful with its fragile, feather like tail. The Bushmaster is the largest pit viper in the world, reaching a length of more than three meters and highly venomous. They live in remote, heavily forested terrain in Guyana and are considered the deadliest snake in the Americas. Our rainforest functions as part of the lungs of the earth, continuously recycling carbon dioxide into oxygen. The red-bellied macaw is a medium-sized parrot that will not resist feeding on awara. The South American rattlesnake is ranked among the most dangerous of snakes. They possess venom, which is neurotoxic, causing muscle paralysis, respiratory distress, and death if not treated without delay. We live in the land of many waters. We have large rivers. We have 276 waterfalls, 18 major lakes. Flora and fauna abound in our millions of hectares of intact rainforest. I've been flying those rainforests for 37 years, and I can tell you, it's something pleasurable to be flying over. The videos that I've produced over the years have gone international. You can find them on every continent except Antarctica. But who knows, this one might just get there sometime. They have helped to popularize Guyana as an ecotourism destination, placing Guyana among the elite as a recommended must-visit country. I'd like to thank the Minister of Industry, Tourism Industry and Commerce, Honorable Honorable Outridge Alicorp, and her team for partnering with me in making this launch a success. I'll also, I'd like to also thank uh, His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali for his unwavering support in making this production a success. We were in a lull for eight years because of plenty issues here, especially copyright issues. So I thank you all here for the attendance and I encourage everybody 
Guyanese or foreigners to obtain a copy, since I am confident that will, this will be another collector's item shortly. According to Charles, the film would not have been possible without the support of President Irfan Ali. He also expressed sincere gratitude to his team and said they have much more to offer. In October 2011, Charles was awarded the Medal of Service for his contribution to aviation photography and videography in Guyana. Persons can visit arielguyana.com to either stream or download a copy of the film. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.